Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. So in today's video, we're talking about skincare and I know skincare can be so tricky. Acne and large pores, it's all such a mess and it's such a journey to figure out what exactly works for you. But I'm gonna share with you guys five things that you probably don't know is contributing to your acne, things that you are doing that you shouldn't be doing, and how you can fix them. These are all things that I have done and it took me a long time to learn how to fix it and correct it, but they have helped me out so much. So I hope that these tips do the same thing for you and help you with your skincare journey and your acne. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you and turn on your post notifications so you never miss one of my videos. I upload about four to five to six days a week. Okay, let's get into these tips. So the first thing is one thing that I struggled with for the longest time and that is touching your face. Touching your face throughout the day and even touching your face when you're washing your face. You have so many germs and bacteria, dirt and just nasty things on your fingers and when you wash your face or touch your face with your hands, you're transferring those germs from your fingers to your face and that is a breeding ground for the pimples. So my solution to this is antibacterial, hypoallergenic, reusable, and rewashable face towels. You guys, these have been a game changer for my skincare routine. I've used them for a few weeks and there's a huge difference. I love that you can like rewash them. You don't have to worry about bacteria building up, which is really nice. So I use these lighter, smaller ones for cleansing my face as well as doing like a gentle exfoliation. And then I use these heavier, plusher ones for drying my face. These are made of bamboo. They are so incredibly soft. They wash and hold up really nice. You know with regular like cotton face towels, after a few washes they get like hard and stiff. These have held up so well. They've remained so soft and plush. I love that you can just use them and throw them in the wash. You don't have to worry about bacteria. They're hyperallergenic. They're antibacterial. And they are so nice and of such good quality. I've been using these for a few weeks. I found them on Amazon and they are only $25. They're so incredibly affordable. Also, these are not like your dinky little face towels. These things are huge. This is the drying towel and this one is your exfoliating wash towel. And the set comes with two of the drying face towels and then two of the exfoliating wash towels. So I highly recommend these face towel kits. They are amazing quality, they hold up really nice, they're super soft, very plush, really gentle on your skin, but very effective at exfoliating and cleansing and then like drying. They feel so luxurious and so nice and they're so affordable. So I highly recommend these. I will leave a link in the description box if anyone is interested, as well as a 20% off discount code if you'd like to use it to save somebody off of your purchase. And P.S. you guys, there is a giveaway in this video. If you would like to win your very own bamboo facial towel set, then all the rules are in the description to enter the giveaway. I will also be holding this on Instagram, so check out my Instagram. I will have everything linked down below that you need to know. But good luck. I am so happy to be giving away a complete full set of this bamboo facial towel set. They're amazing and I want to share with you guys to give you the opportunity to have your very own. So check out the description. All the rules and everything that you need to know are listed there. Second tip is you're either exfoliating too much or you're not exfoliating enough. So exfoliating your skin is a must. You have to remove all of the dead skin cells so that way your skincare is at its most effective level. But on the other hand, if you're exfoliating too often or too roughly, then you're gonna dry out your skin. And this not only goes for just your face, but this also goes for your body. If you're someone that suffers with back knee or body acne, then I have a solution for you too. So this here is called a kiss -a mitt and this is a gentle exfoliating body mitt. You can also use this on your face, but I prefer to use the face towels that I just showed. This is really nice. You can keep it right in your shower. You easily just like slip it over your hand like this. It's very nice and soft feeling and you just rub this all over your body. It removes all your dead skin cells, but it does it safely and it does it gently. So it's not going to overdo it. You want to make sure that you do this with the kiss -a mitt for, I don't know, maybe once a week or two to three times times a month but this is like the magic glove it removes self tan it removes your dead skin cells like you literally just like rub over your body and you'll see the dead skin cells it's kind of crazy kind of satisfying to watch but this thing is like so good I highly recommend it even if you're not someone that has back knee this is still good just to get all of the dead skin cells off of your body and your face too if you prefer a mitt like this and if anyone is interested in this kiss -a mitt I will leave the link in the description box as well 
I know you've probably heard this like a million and a half times, but do not pop your pimples. If you have a white head or you just absolutely like need to pop it like it's ready, then what I personally do is take one of my little eyebrow shavers or a pair of tweezers and I like lightly just like pop the head or just like cut the top of the head and without any kind of like force or pressure and not digging into my skin, I just apply the tiniest bit of like gentle pressure and it removes that white head. And then the key after that is Neosporin and tea tree oil. This is going to help heal up your wound as well as applying an antibacterial solution on top of that to help heal it up and take away the redness. So if you absolutely have to pop it, go with that. That's what I do and it works wonders. But if at all possible, don't pick at your pimples. Don't try to like pop them or force them. You're going to make your pimple worse. You're going to make your skin like enlarge, inflamed, and so, so red. You're going to make it so much worse. But not only that, but when you pop a pimple and it gets like everywhere, you're just like like spreading that bacteria and it's just like making your skin more apt for more pimples in the area so don't pop the pimps so if you're like me and you have super oily skin like I cannot go more than like three hours without my skin looking like a grease pan it's really bad so for me at one point in my life I was like why am I gonna use moisturizer why am I gonna use anything like with an oil base on my skin because my skin's already so so oily like why would I add to that but the thing is, is you want to add in a lightweight, oil-free moisturizer. You do want to add in those hydrating compounds without adding extra oil. This way, your skin is getting that nourishment and the hydration that it needs without overproducing oil and sebum. Because when your skin is deprived of oil, it actually overproduces oil. It's a funny thing, but it's very true. So always, even if you have oily skin, always use a lightweight, oil-free moisturizer. So this mistake is very common amongst a lot of different people, including myself, and that is not sticking to a routine. Whether it is with your skincare routine or your eating habits, sticking to a routine is necessary, it is vital, and prevention is key. So sticking with your skincare routine morning and night, a.m. and p.m., sticking with it and doing all of your steps in your skincare every day. And even when you don't have pimples, still treat, still do all the steps in your skincare that you normally would. The more you stick to a routine, the less likely you are to have breakouts and flare-ups because you're using preventative measures so they won't happen in the first place. And eating habits and sleeping habits kind of go in hand in hand. You wanna make sure you're getting enough sleep, enough water, eating the right foods. If you're gonna be eating junk food all day with like sugar and salt and like just dehydrating your body and your skin, it's gonna reflect on your skin. Basically what you put in is gonna come out. So always sticking with a good, healthy diet and staying hydrated, all those things are really gonna help you with your skin and your complexion. I still have a long way to go in my skincare journey, but if you guys would like to see my skincare routine and what I do every morning and every night, then let me know and I will be more than happy and willing to share that with you guys. Just let me know in the comments below and I will meet you down there after this video. I hope you guys liked this video and if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel and join the YouTube fam. We would love to have you. Turn on post notifications for the channel so you never miss one of my uploads. I upload about four to five to six days a week. I love you guys so much. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I will see you probably tomorrow in a brand new video. Love ya. Bye.